Many, many thanks, Dennis. Um, my message actually is very, very straightforward, and it should literally only take me just over a minute to uh, make it. And the, 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 my thoughts for this talk really derive from one consideration, and that is when you bite into an apple or you drink the juice from an orange, most of what you get is vacuola sap. Plant vacuoles represent more than 50% of total cell volume. They are major intracellular warehouses for the good stuff. That's one side of the equation. The other side is the part the vacuole plays in protecting the plant from the bad stuff, its own waste and the waste of others, ourselves included. Now in the US alone, there are some 40,000 uncontrolled waste sites, land polluted with heavy metals such as mercury, arsenic and cadmium that will have to be cleaned up. The traditional approach to soil remediation is very, very simple. It's to dig it up and stockpile it elsewhere. However, despite its simplicity, this option is prohibitively expensive, one to two million dollars per acre. Hence, the urgent need for technologies based on phytoremediation, the use of native or engineered plant species for the unobtrusive, aesthetically appealing, inexpensive extraction and accumulation of pollutants. But, and this is a crucial consideration, if this is to work for heavy metals that cannot be made into something else, cannot be metabolized, advantage will have to be taken of the fact that plants not only deploy the vacuole as a warehouse, but also as an intracellular landfill for the sequestration of materials that would otherwise poison the very thing that's doing the cleaning up, the plant itself. Thank you very much.